Welcome to aminacademy.com. In analytical solid geometry, let us discuss about direction cosines, that is DC of a directed line. Yeah, look at this figure. Here, the three mutually perpendicular line is given. Suppose this is O, OX axis and this is OY axis. This is O, Z axis. The line is drawn from the origin O to point P here. Now we have to find the direction cosines of this line OP. Now let the alpha is the angle between your line Y, line OP to the axis YX. That is, let it be alpha like uh, beta is the line with the uh, y axis and gamma is line op with set axis this is the angle gamma now if alpha beta gamma are angles with the directed line with a directed line of uh, directed line OP makes with positive direction makes with uh, positive direction of equally perpendicular axis Now, OX, OY, OZ respectively are uh, axis, mutually perpendicular axis. Then we can say cos alpha, cos beta, and cos gamma are known as direction cosines direction cosines that is you can see it is DC is Of OP direction cosines of the line OP. Now, generally we denoted by in another way we denote by L, M, and N respectively. We can say it is L M N respectively. Therefore, we can say L equal cos alpha, M equal cos beta, and N equal cos gamma. Here, we note the points here. Note. DC that is direction cosines of x axis is uh, 1, 0, 0. X axis means y and z axis are zeros, therefore cos uh, beta and cos gamma is 0 here. Like that, DC of y axis we can say like 0, 1 and 0. Similarly, DC of Z axis equals 0, 0 and 1. Here, note your relation between
between DC of DC of the line segment here is the line segment suppose here OP the DC DC of that line segment that is have some relations that is L square plus M square plus M square equal to 1 you have done please subscribe our youtube channel